Okay, so my name is Alexandra Yefimova, and I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I have a privilege to lead next four weeks of the stretch classes, where I want to share with you some of my favorite stretches and tips for safe and effective stretching. Over the next four weeks, we will focus on four areas. Today, we'll do stretches for the tech neck and tech wrists. Following week, we will talk about stretches for your posture and upper body. The following week, we will do stretches for the lower back and hips, and we will conclude our four week stretches with the stretches for your hamstrings, calves, and ankles. I wanna share with you that you can do your stretches anywhere. You don't need special equipment, special clothes, or anything at all. Each of our 15 minute stretch class will include a warm up, stretching exercises, and breathing. We will not need any special equipment for it, but for today's class, I would love us to have some kind of either resistance band or a towel or even a belt. So if you can take the next couple of minutes while I'm doing my intro and grab something that you can um, hold on and we'll use it for a couple of exercises. And I see um, Gale even has her flex stretcher. That's fantastic. As all Harvard classes we know, we have homework. And I would love to send you kind of a pleasant homework with a cheat chat sheet. Exercises that we're doing today, I put together in a nice one pager, only one side, with instructions how to do them, with a picture, with a, how long to hold them and how much to repeat. I would love you to find at least a few minutes a day in the next week to include stretching in your day. So I'm going to put in the chat my personal email address. And if you would like to receive this stretching sheet, please send me an email personally to this email, or you can DM me here in this chat. I promise you'll not end up on the mailing list. Um, I'll send that um, email to you personally from my email, and um, I think it will be a very good, useful tool for you. Before we begin, a little bit of my background and why I'm stretching in general. As you could have guessed from my last name, I was born in Russia and I've been a proud American since 1993. It's from my early childhood, I've been involved in gymnastics, dance, competitive bottom dancing. I am a certified Pilates instructor and a yoga enthusiast. I started my first company at age 20 out of the college dorm room. It's called Russian Point. And this is where we supply elegant dancing supplies and inspire dancers to lead extraordinary lives. During my years at Harvard Business School, almost during each class between breaks, one of the classmates would come up to me and say, every time I look at you across the classroom, I'm amazed by your posture and you inspire me to set up straight. I never thought that good posture or stretching is something special or something that we do. Because again, as a dancer myself and as a person who spent over two decades working with dancers worldwide, dance stretching is something we don't do specifically for a class. It's something that we do every day. And I truly can say this is our second nature. You probably have seen some of the young girls in a bus stop or in a grocery store doing the stretches while mommy is getting their uh, groceries. So uh, a little bit over a year ago, I was presented with an opportunity to acquire a brand that was started by a professional dancer who got injured and who developed this tool, it's called Flexi Stretcher, which I would say it's like a Rolls Royce of the TheraBands. It has a lot of great features that the regular TheraBands would not have. So I acquired the company and I really saw a great opportunity to take it beyond dance market because everybody can benefit from stretching, from a young kids who practice sports to war, you know, weekend warrior athletes or to somebody who just recovering maybe from, um, you know, a surgery or an injury, we all can benefit from stretching. At FLX, we do two things. We uh, design innovative, effective products for stretching, strengthening, and recovery. And we also offer instructor certifications, which is accredited by ACE, American Council of Exercise, a leading global nonprofit in the fitness world. So why stretching is so important? Well, here's just a few benefits. 
Of course, stretching increases flexibility. It increases the range of motion. It improves physical daily performance, increases blood circulation. It improves your posture. It helps to prevent joint pains and injuries. It reduces stress and even calms your mind. So today's session is about tech neck. Why does it happen? Well, if you have one of these, there's chances that you spend some of your time like this. So there's three ways we can eliminate the tech neck. You can throw away the cell phone and never look at the smartphone again. If you're not willing to do it quite yet, there's three things we can do. Number one, use your phone in a more vertical position, right? That's gonna prevent from your neck going like this. Number two, be aware of your posture and your head when you are using your phone. And number three, do stretches to straighten up uh, your back as well as the shoulders and neck. And that's what we're gonna do today. Harvard loves data and Harvard loves numbers. So I'm gonna share with you two really interesting facts. So an average weight of a person's head is between eight pounds and 12 pounds. So if the person uses the cell phone or iPad for that matter and tilts the head 30 degrees, it's a very small tilt. There's almost 40 pounds of weight that gets pressured on the muscles of the back. Now the person tilts the head just a little bit more to 45 degrees, that number goes up to almost 50 pounds. And if the person's tilt of the head is 60 degrees, the pressure additional goes up to 60 pounds on your back. So now another interesting number, average person spends between two and four hours on an iPad or on a cell phone daily. So let's do a quick math, which means that additional between 700 pounds, uh, 700 hours to 1400 hours a year a person puts additional strain on his or her back muscles. So I think numbers like this are impressive for us to start thinking about the tech neck and what can we do to eliminate it. So there's four tips for stretching. Breathing, we're gonna talk a lot about breathing today. Tension without pain, stretching daily, and doing a little warm up. And this is what we're going to start with. So we're all sitting comfortably, just like you. I've been working by the computer, so not going anywhere. We're going to sit down in our chair. The only thing we need is just a little bit of space. So make sure you have some room, elbow room around you. We're going to start with the breathing exercises to warm up our body. Since we're doing very light stretches today, we're not going to do really heavy uh, um, warm ups. So we're going to take a deep inhale in and exhale out. Good, inhale in and exhale out. Good, inhale in and exhale out. Good, now bring your hands parallel to the floor and your palms are facing up. We're gonna bring it in and bring the palms down. Open brings up, now another hand goes opposite on the top. Open, exhale. Inhale, open, and exhale. And again, inhale, open, exhale. Now what you can do is curve your back as you open, exhale, empty your stomach. Couple more, and then pull your belly button to the uh, spine, and exhale. Good, inhale, and exhale. Very good. Now, sitting, put, make sure both of your legs are parallel. Make sure that you're grounded, that you are, knees are aligned to your hips and your feet are aligned to your knees. So you have really nice two straight lines, your shoulders right over your hips. Now we're gonna tilt from one side to another. See if you can touch the floor, right? And to one side and another. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two more times each side, please. Very good. Okay, we're done with our very quick and brief work uh, warm up. Again, I want to get make sure all of you um, 
we'll check out on time as we promised you because it's the middle of the busy day. So let's grab whatever tool you have, whether it's a belt, it's a towel, it's anything that was handy. I'm gonna bring your hands overhead. I'm gonna move my chair just a little bit so you can see me better. I'm gonna bring your head overhead. We're gonna bend your elbows as far as they go. So almost like your body is making a V. And we're gonna hold it for seven seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up again. And inhale down, hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, reach out again and repeat. So frequently we ask, how long should I hold the stretch? So I would say doing any stretch is better than not doing it at all. But in general, recommended to hold the stretch somewhere between 20, 30 seconds to get the most benefit. And repeating the same stretch more than once enhances and increases the benefits of the stretch. So I'm gonna come up again and one more time 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 so we've done this four times let's do it three more lower it down now you should start feeling like you can bring your elbows just a little bit lower your hands, you can give a little bit of resistance. Five, four, three, two, and one. Two more times, please. And keep breathing. Make sure your rib cage is closed in. So if you've done ever done Pilates, your instructor probably talked about keeping your ribs in, keeping your posture straight. Make sure your shoulder is still over your hips. Straighten up. And the last time, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Let's bring it around. Let's give your hands a little stretch. Rotate your wrist. Should feel a little blood starting to flow to your upper body. Now we're gonna take the towel again, or your belt or any kind of a stretch tool. Now your arms are completely straight. Find the place on your band, on your towel, where you feel some resistance. There's tension, but there's no pain. Now on the stretch, we wanna bring the arms over your head with the straight arms. Keep them as straight as you can. And again, we hold seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it over your head again. Bring it up. Now see if you can go just a little bit deeper in the stretch. Keep breathing through each of the movement. Bring oxygen to your body. Keep your arms straight, keep your shoulders down. Check where your legs are. Make sure your feet are parallel to each other your knees and shoulder, your hip width apart, and your feet are hip width apart. Good, bring it back. And again, up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And the next time, see if you can challenge yourself and bring the arms a little bit closer and see the difference in session. Bring your hands a little bit closer, keep the arms nice and straight, bring them over your head. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, for the last two exercises, we're gonna do a little variation. Once we bring the arms up, we're gonna bend to one side and another. Again, bring your arms up. Now tilt gently to your, this is my left, it's probably your right side. 
And now look up over your elbows. Look to the sky. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other side. Again, keep your shoulders uh, down. Long, beautiful neck. Look up to the sky. Straight elbows. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Let's bring it back. And for the last time, we'll do the same thing again. And see if you can go a little bit deeper in the stretch. Again, straight arms, beautiful long neck, straight spine, shoulders down, reach, and then look up to the sky. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Keep the arms up, opposite side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. Let's put our belts or towels to the side. Now we're going to give ourselves a big hug. So open your arms. Now give yourself a hug and stack your, um, it's my um, right uh, on top of the of left. Your wrists are resting. We're going to take an inhale and reach up and curve from the back. So if we're looking at the side, we'll look something like this. Then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back, open your arms. Now put the other hand on top. Give yourself a hug and lift elbows to the sky. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's repeat one more time each side. Open your arms, the right hand goes on top. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten your back, lower the shoulders, and the last time, repeat with your left hand over on the top. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Now we're going to cross our elbows. It's a pose arm uh, posture that's often referred in yoga as an ego. So we're going to put the left on the bottom and right on top. If you're comfortable here today, leave your hands like this. If you feel more flexible today, see if you can wrap your palms together so they give each other a little slap. So again, sit with your shoulders over your hips, your hands perfectly, um, your feet on the ground. We're gonna twist to the arm, um, a twist to one side, and hold 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and five. Keep the arms where they are. We're going in the opposite direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, good, let's untwist this eagle. Now we're gonna put the right arm on the bottom, left on top. Again, if this is where you are comfortable today, stay here. If you want, you can have your palms together. Now let's turn to the side that we just came from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Keep the arms over where we are. We're going the opposite direction. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come back to center and twist your arms. In the benefit of the time, we only did it once for each side. As you are enjoying your own stretching at home, you can repeat it again. Next is a side neck stretch. I'm gonna take your, it's, it's my right arm, it's left for you, I presume for many of you. Put it on the opposite hip. Your head will tilt to the side where the arm is. Now I'm gonna take this arm and pull gently, gently towards your shoulder. 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay where you are, gently release the hand, tilt your head towards the elbow, Reposition your hand on top so it will come a little bit more towards the back of your head. And again, let the gravity pull your head towards the shoulder and towards the ground. And see if the arm can give it just a little extra stretch for your head. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your hand. Straighten your neck, release your hand. You're gonna take your opposite hand, put it in the hip. Why are we doing this? Because this keeps and opens up opposite side of the neck and your shoulder. Now tilt your head to the shoulder, take your hand, very gently pull it towards the shoulder. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hand, keep the head where you are. Look down towards the shoulder, towards the ground. Reposition your hand and gently pull your head down towards the ground a little bit more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release your hand, good. Again, repeat it more than once. We're gonna repeat it one more time on each side and we will practice NF, um, PNF technique. So again, take your hand, put it on the opposite side. Tilt your head, bring the arm to your head. Gently pull your head in. Take a couple deep breath in and out. Now, your hand is standing firm, trying to gently guide your head towards the ground. Now give the, try to lift your head up towards the sky, towards a normal vertical position while the hand is creating the resistance of not letting it go. Hold it for one, two, three. Release your head and guide your head with your hand down lower. I'm seeing for people who have the camera on that the head went on just a little bit lower. I always feel it for myself. So this is a great PNF technique that you can use. Again, use the resistance for three seconds and then release. Let's repeat on the opposite side. Your hand is going in the hip till you held down. Give yourself a nice stretch. Now try to lift the head up to vertical, but the hand is holding it back, creating resistance. So one, two, three. Release the pressure and allow the head to gently roll down. Oh, doesn't that feel wonderful? Midweek, mid-stretch, right? Wednesday, it's a perfect epical of the week. <laughs> so. Exercise number six, we're doing eight today. The next one is cat cow. So if you're sitting on the chair, I'm gonna move my chair just a little bit so you can see me better. Get, position your knees, uh, hip width apart, shoulders over your hips, your ankles and your feet parallel, uh, knee width apart. Put the hands on the knees, 
and cat cow you've done it and uh, plank and pilates and yoga take an inhale and exhale as we inhale as we exhale pull the belly button to the spine exhale again inhale now you should feel a really great opening and exhale in your shoulders we've done so many great shoulder opening exercises and exhale inhale exhale two more please inhale exhale and the last time inhale and exhale great so for the next exercise it's something that i would recommend we do by the wall or by the bookshelf anywhere so i'm gonna stay seated in front of the computer so you can continue seeing me and i'm gonna use this chair pretending it's a wall if you have a wall close by find where it is i'm gonna come to the wall and your body will be perpendicular to the wall i'm gonna put the arm with the palm of your hand on a wall so you'll be in this position find the wall that you like so try to make your hand your whole arm parallel to the floor and when ready tilt the head in the opposite direction so you should feel a great stretch through your wrist all the way through the arm and now up in your neck and you can even take your head like we did I mean, we did in the previous stretch and guide your head a little bit to strengthen and make the stretch a little bit deeper 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 release your hand now straighten your head vertical now look the opposite direction away from the wall 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one excellent give your hand a nice twist you should feel like the blood is coming and feel more stretched let's go the opposite side so turn around put the hand on the hand your body is perpendicular to the wall i'm going to stay in the same direction so you can see me but you need to do the opposite side again tilt your head in gently guide it ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one now look away from the wall with your head straight eight seven six five four three two and one excellent okay and in conclusion i'm going to share with you some of my favorite wrist exercises because again we type so much we hold our phone and we type so here's what we can do on our with our wrist you can do it by the wall you can do it right here in front of your desk so if you look at the edge of my desk i'm just going to use my the edge of my desk like this so i'm going to put my hands in this position on the edge of the desk if I was going to use the wall, I would come up to the wall and do the same thing, right? Make sure in this position, you keep your palms of the hands parallel to each other, vertical to the ground, and they will end up ideally in a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to hold it for 10, 9, 8, and 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one good now let's turn it facing each other uh, uh, like little ducks same thing and the benefits of doing it to the wall so this way you can actually have your hands on 90 degree angle trust me that stretch is a little bit deeper in that case eight seven six five four three two and one and the last one, we're going to turn it 
facing palms up. So again, give yourself some pressure. Now, if you're doing this exercise, keep doing it. If you're doing this exercise when you are standing on your arms and knees, um, as we're doing yoga and Pilates, maybe exercise, you can also rock back and forth when your hands are in the, this position or in this position, or you can rock from side to side when your hands are looking right and down. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Let's interlace your fingers, roll it one way, then roll it another way. We are in the end of our class. We did eight exercises with you today. I hope you um, kind of understood the technique of holding them for, for a count of 10, for at least 10 seconds, repeating them. Each exercise is great to repeat six to eight times to get the maximum benefit. For guests who came in a little bit later, I'm going to put again um, the, my personal email address. And um, as I joked in Harvard, we always have homework. So I'm gonna give you a little cheat chat homework where the exercises we did today, description, pictures, how, many, how long to hold, how often, how uh, many times to repeat it. I would please email me um, and I will um, uh, send it to you directly. The next class, we're gonna focus on our posture and upper body. It will be again at, um, uh, uh, at one o'clock Eastern time next Wednesday. If you have any questions, I'm happy to stay for a few minutes longer. Otherwise, I wish you a terrific day, successful week, happy health and, ha and happiness, and we'll see you next week.